Okay, today we're out here. We got some baby bows and we're gonna be shooting at random things. We kind of gathered up. We got a homemade target over there. We're gonna talk about how we built it. We got basketball, soccer balls, MREs, and then we're gonna put the MRE pack in the water bottle, make kind of a little explosion. But yeah, we got these mini bows that are like set at like 20 pounds or something. We're gonna see what they do to everything. So I'm gonna take apart this beef patty pepper jack MRE, show you what's inside, show you what we'll be shooting. We got the beef jalapeno pack, and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside, and we're gonna show you what we'll be shooting. So first off, we have, we start with the beef patty itself, grilled jalapenos, cocoa beverage powder, can't go wrong. Good old oatmeal cookie. Looks like some twin snackage bread. Here's just your season pack and your mint gum, classic. Last but not least, the cherry on top is the cherry blueberry cobbler. And then our spoon. Can't go wrong without the spoon. And we got some cheese spread just in the bottom. Alright, we're going to shoot it, see what it looks like. See how many layers of snacks we can get through on the MRE pack. Here we go. It's my turn with the browning baby bow. See if I can hit that MRE target. We're only at like five yards. So we'll see if I can do it, see how much I can get through. All right, first shot at the MRE. Here we go. All right, that was my first shot with the baby bow. Hit a little bit high into the right, so I missed the, the center where all the stuff is. So I'm gonna take one more shot, see how I do. Attempt number two with the MRE, with the browning baby bow. Let's see if I can hit it this time. It was a pretty dead center hit. Let's see what it did. Uh, the food. So there's the arrow. It looked like he went all the way through everything and stuck into the morel target on the back side. So that was a clean pasture of every snack in there. I'm gonna pull it out, see what it looks like. Okay, I ended up shooting the beef patty twice. One of them I didn't get on film. So there's two holes in everything, but one, two, uh, the cocoa powder twice, the cheese, one, two. Here's my I think this is my cobbler, one, two, my beef patty itself, my crackers, my oatmeal cookie, two holes, and I hit the spoon one time. There's a hole in the package, in and out, <laughs> cracked the spoon in half. So that was a pretty lucky shot to get everything in the bag at one time. So that was pretty cool. Now it's time for the mac and cheese chili, and we'll see what happens on that one. Okay, we got the macaroni and cheese this time. Chili mac and cheese. So this one's just chili and mac right here. Snack bread, crackers, more crackers, and the cheese spread again. And I took the season pack out of this one already. We're not gonna shoot that. So we're gonna get these two set up, see what, uh, see what happens. Let's go. Okay, we're at the chili MRE. See if we can hit it. Chili mac and cheese, take one. Here's our first shot. So that was about as dead center of a hit that you can get on the package. Let's take the arrow out and see if we hit any food. It looks like it looks like we only hit one of the boxes. So we're gonna take one more shot, a little bit lower, and see if we can get everything in one shot, pass through again. Take two at the MRE chili cheese pack. See if we can get it with this shot. We hit it the first time, a little bit high. See what we can do. That was a perfect shot, a little bit lower, so it should be dead center of all the stuff. We'll check out the air. Yep, the first shot right here, we only hit one pack of food. Down here, we hit, I think all. Well, on our way back to pull the arrow out of chili cheese, our camera battery ran out. So I pulled out my solar charger. It is something I use every time my battery runs out where I'm filming, obviously in the woods and there's no way to charge it. It's got up to four ports on it for different USB sizes so you can charge all kinds of things at one time and it just pretty indestructible hangs on your backpack a little clip and it fills up with solar and then you can charge your stuff and I'm charging my camera right now so I don't have to sit inside and wait which is pretty cool uh, yeah it's a good little product I like to use uh, back to the chili cheese MRE okay we got two shots of the chili MRE again I think one of them hit the top, yeah, the top pack. We'll have two holes in it. So that's a complete pass through, double. Our dessert on this one, our, let's see, our crackers, 
went through again. There's the whole side a little bit this time. Oh, they're trying, you know, it's all sticky. Oatmeal cookies and the cheese. I missed the cheese. So the cheese survived this one. Not the other one. This one, our cheese spread took a direct hit. <laughs> so before we do our bottle with the MRE heater inside of it, see if it blows up, we're gonna fill all of our MREs back up with everything we shot, stack them front to back, and see if our arrow can go through both bags. So we got our two MREs lined up in front of the yellow jacket. We're gonna see if we can get a pass through on both of them. Probably so, but you never know. So that was a really dead center shot in the MRE. Let's see what it did. Go. And that was pretty good, but a little bit high. So we'll do one more shot. See if we aim a little lower again. We had that problem last time. And see if we can go through. We made it all the way through, but there's also more stuff in the bottom. So we'll try that one. This is our second attempt on the MREs. We're gonna try to adjust our sights a little bit and see if we can get it right in to where we can have a pass through with all the food. That was a good shot in the MRE. Exactly where we wanted to hit, lower than center, which puts us to where all the stuff is in the bottom. So if it worked, we'll have it going all the way through. And it did pass through both MREs at one time. Pretty cool. We're getting the bottle ready to shoot and we're just placing this little MRE heat pack in there. And it should blow up. Okay, we got our bottle ready, and it looks like it's starting to expand. It's getting warm, so we're gonna get back to where we're gonna shoot and get ready to shoot and see if it blows up. It's getting, yeah, really firm, so the pressure is building up just like we want it to. We're gonna get back a few yards and do the shot. We got our safety goggles on, and we're just about to shoot. We got all our safety gear on, bow ready, bottle's getting pretty big. See if we can shoot it make it blow up all right <laughs> not too big of an explosion but here it is swelled up water bottle MRE pack just kind of shot out the side and that's where our hit was right there it did that slice up the edge the most impressive shot of today was definitely the spoon pass through that was just cool and lucky I hit that um so we have our solar charger if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be able to finish the video because we're running on daylight. We're able to charge. We always pack this every time I go out anywhere because there is obviously no chargers in the forest. <clears throat> and this is just a little channel update at the very end. We got grouse hunting, turkey hunting, and bear hunting all coming up in the next week. That's when season's open for all those. And then everything else will follow in the fall. So we're going to be doing videos on those. We're taking the browning Midas out, turkey hunting. We got it max set at 45 pounds. We got this little one over here for just plinking around. That's only set like 15, but our Midas is set at 45 pounds. So we're gonna be turkey hunting with that, grouse hunting. Hopefully we can get some videos of that out. And sheds on the way, because we always find those somewhere. But yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of the video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching Trophy Shout Outdoors.